What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. In the last episode we saved Angela in this weird old city and I accidentally bought the spider glove bot in the background and whoa, how does this work? Oh, this is weird and creepy, but at the same time pretty cool. At least it doesn't have the eight creepy legs and a million eyes like a spider does. It's pretty non-spider like, it's more like a robotic turtle of anything, but away we go! <laughs> Alrighty then, so pretty interesting. I don't think we're gonna be using it too much, but I don't know much at all. So let's just go to Planet Smolg is our next idea. Um, oh, this looks really cool. So uh, let's head off and go. See if you can find any more news on the protopets. And now, Behind the Hero brings you the conclusion of our series on Captain Quark. As of this airing, the fugitive superhero has been missing for almost six weeks. Did he die heroically? Was he the victim of an overzealous fan? Or is he still out there somewhere? The galaxy may never know, but stay tuned for more baseless speculation and crackpot theories on Behind the Hero. Well, no more Quark. Good, it is almost time for RoboChef. You gotta love some RoboChef. All right, we're still heading off the planet Smoke here. Ah, uh, here we are. <laughs> I love the between planet uh, cutscenes that happen to make that loading screen just a bit more fun. Okay then, so this planet seems to just be a city in the sky. Hmm, pretty cool stuff, but let's see what new things we have to save up for this time. Uh, wow, okay, maybe not anything. I don't know if this was here before, but at this point it's getting incredibly overwhelming with all the things that we have to afford. Um, we need to get this 100,000, 150,000, 120,000, 1.5 million, 100,000. Oh, that's like, has to be nearly 2 million racking up there. So that is pretty crazy. And there's a whole bunch of different ways to go. Let's go in the launch pad first because it's nice and fun. Away! Away indeed! And boom, now we're down here. And we got another one? <laughs> just just for good measure, just in case. All right, then what is going on here? Oh my, what is that? That is creepy, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, keep it away from me. But ooh, we got some boxes over here. <laughs> just distract myself with nice, fun, happy things, like boxes and collecting things, and whatever the, the face on the creepy box there. I don't know, I don't like this planet, it's not fun. We just gotta make sure we get these boxes because with all these bolts to save, every single one will help. All right, then let's go off this way. And I'm just, I don't know, some of the enemies in Ratchet games can be so creepy, especially in this PS2 version. Oh, I hate that. I don't like him. Boom, get out of here, you jerk. Oh, I can't hurt him. All right, then. Ugh, be a man. There we go, I took him out. Oh, I don't like that, though. It looks like we are closing, closing in on another health upgrade sooner or later here, which will be nice as well. At this point, we have to be maxing out soon. For the longest time, I keep saying that. We have to be maxing out now. And no, not all of them. Get out of here. Get out of here right now. Go. No, leave me alone. I really don't like crab type creatures. They're like crustaceans creep me out a lot. So seeing all these enemies that are just crabby, I don't like it. I want to go home. Okay, I think we got to go up here. Ugh. <laughs> just jump up and then I think there's a little, uh, there was a guy up here, but I think we just inadvertently destroyed him when taking out those evil crabs and get out of here, you have more of them. Why would they r r r let something like this run rampant? Why, why, why? Oh, I don't think I can take him out with combat either. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Knocked his head off. All right then. So I gotta make sure I have as much ammo on that as possible, but it seems like we're actually out right now. You, turn into a sheep, something much, much better. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> now how's that? Nice and cheap. Oh, looks like we did get a nanotuck upgrade there. Pretty cool stuff, we have one more little blip there. Just gotta keep filling up the meter though. You can't do this with two on one. It just hops between the two. Uh, oh boy, and there's another one. Okay, I need to reevaluate this entire situation and turn into the lava gun, or turn two with Turn to the help of the lava gun, please. That's all I want. Oh gosh, stay away from me. Stay away. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it more than I can explain. Oh, okay. Hmm, I think that's all of them. Good, good indeed, oh boy. Okay, these little guys, not bad. They're a little creepy, but they're, they're sort of cute too. These guys, these guys stink. And they remind me from the horrible people from Ratchet and Clank 1, like the people from the like green, like misty planet. Now, they weren't really crabby, but they were just so spooky. They were so spooky, and I'm dead. All right, we're back here again. Take out these guys. I think if we, oh, there's a button over here. So if we don't press the button at first, take out all this. That should make it much easier. And they also remind me of head crabs from Half-Life, and I hate those guys so much, too. I gotta play Half-Life on the channel one of these days. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Maybe for a stream or something. Um, and Half-Life is cool, but it's also horrifying. 
Okay, you wanna take me on, guys? I'll take you all on. Uh, do the disco dance. Oh, the disco dance doesn't really work well with these guys. They can just hop through it with their hard exoskeletons. Oh, I hate it. Everything about them I hate. It's just, it's just so creepy, because the scorpions are creepy too, and they sort of look like, like a weird mix between a scorpion and a crab. And this is like, <laughs> give me a break. All right, so we are getting some good amount of bolts here. We doubled our bolts in this amount of time. But we still need to keep leveling up our stuff. Okay, we got 10 more mini rockets. This is getting close. This is what's exciting. All right, oh gosh, get out of here. The, the, the unfortunate thing is it takes two shots for the uh, crabs here, and that's not gonna be useful. Hmm, let's get rid of these guys. There we go. Okay, <laughs> this seems to be an open-ended area. I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to go, but we're almost at yet another health upgrade. At this point, it's getting pretty easy to upgrade stuff. It's just spam at the enemies, and the enemies are super tough, so it's like, it makes it so that it's easier to sort of manage when it comes to um, upgrading things, because they give more experience, I guess you could say. All right, what is going on here? We got these guys over here, ba-boom. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, another one, no, no, I just wasted some some ammo for no reason. So it looks like that's everybody I've taken out. Uh oh I hear click clacks, I hear click clacks. Uh, no, 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 some music. <laughs> I thought I heard click clacks of like a, um, like, like them walking on the floor. All right, then we need our gadgets here and um, where is it? Here it is. And then use this, okay. And where is this gonna bring me? Oh, I can jump up here, from here. All right, ready, and jump, jump! There we go, with the nice rocket booster clank. It's nice and helpful. Okay, cool. All right, hmm. We gotta do the same thing over here, and we gotta make this jump ready. Hey, we did it! All right, now we need to do it again here in a moment. Ready, set, hoo <laughs> Cool. Now, like, yeah, like, these guys are so small, but you can see, like, the little increase they make in experience is actually rather impressive. So what will this do? Um, oh, this is raising it. I have a feeling we're gonna find more enemies at the top that I'm not gonna like, though. Um, hmm, maybe not, okay, cool. Hmm. The less enemies, the better at this point. Uh, whoa. No, no, get out of here. I don't like you. Um, you, Ugh, die, die. Oh gosh, okay, the little guys, not a big deal. But everything else is a big deal. And we instantly get a lot more experience there just because our experience up, <laughs> our level up actually made it um, destroy every enemy around us, and that gave us more experience. Okay, that's all the ammo I have for this, so boom, back to this. Boom, baby. <laughs> okay, ooh, there we go. Let's see, you know, reap the rewards from destroying these guys. It's it's really fun destroying a whole bunch of enemies in Ratchet, especially when you're like strong enough to sort of just blow through people super easy. It's like, it's weird, you don't think if it was easy, it wouldn't be that fun, but it's just so satisfying in this game, seeing the enemies just sort of fly apart. And then one last one, got this evil crap. I'm starting to get used to them at this point. They're not as horrifying. They definitely are doing a number on me when it comes to the damage. Which is why it's nice to have the uh, mini rocket, just because it does so much damage, it's easy to stay away from predators, I guess you could say. All right then, so I need to get myself the gadget out again. I'm considering putting this back on the wheel, but I don't know, we definitely need, like, people say that like eventually a second wheel pops up, and I wonder how and when, because we definitely need it at this point. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh boy, uh, give me this back. Okay, then I gotta do this. Okay, I see, we gotta team it up. There we go, nice job. Oh man. So I know I had to do uh, some other PS2 games coming up soon. What is your guys, like, you know, out of the big four, I'd say, it's like Ratchet and Clank, Sly, Tie the Tasmanian Tiger, and uh, Jack and Naxter. Which one is your favorite when it comes to the platformers? I mean, it's like, for me, of course, it's Jack and Naxter because I grew up with that series, but, you know, if you guys let me know, it'll help me make a decision for future playthroughs. Okay, there we go. I asked because it's like, it's hard for me to decide at this point because I've actually, mostly all of my big childhood games, I've done content on in some way, shape, or form at this point, either Let's Plays or live streams. And what's happening here? Oh my. Coming, get down! Ah! Oh, what is that? What the? TV! Hello! Ratchet and Clank. You lucky devils. Angela Cross. Has just sent you a galactic greeting. Guys, if you get this message, please meet me on my home world. Just so you know, I found my old ID badge. I'm pretty sure we can still use it to infiltrate Megacorp HQ, but you're gonna have to hurry. Before the protopets completely overrun us. Oh, and uh, sorry for the balloonogram. It was the only thing I could get off this point. We hope you enjoyed your galactic greeting. That Angela is quite resourceful. Yeah, she thinks of everything, doesn't she? She also appears to be in great danger. 
I find it so weird that we really haven't come across a point that Angela looks to be the same exact race of Ratchet. Either way, I want to start doing some power grinding here with the grind boots, cool stuff. So Angela needs her help on her home planet. Would that mean that her home planet is our home planet? This completely clashes with the future series lore. How come, how come indeed, okay. What is shooting, oh wow, big guy over here. He's trying to show off his big guns. You know what, before you start picking a fight with me, I wanna buy some ammo and see. <laughs> Freeze time while I buy some stuff at the shop. Fill that on up, and then where are you, buddy? You're, you're, you're picking a fight with me? You don't wanna pick a fight with Ratchet, trust me. There we go, Ooh. okay, almost down. Boom, see ya, buddy. <laughs> you're out of here. And it's really weird thinking about the future series for me because personally, you know, I've actually already let's played, if you didn't know, all the future series. I've let's played Going Commando, uh, Quest for Booty, Time, what is, the, what is the other one called? A Crack in Time, and then Into the Nexus, even though that one's technically not a game in the future series, it's just another Ratchet and Clank game. It's weird because, you know, I go back and play these ones because these ones weren't part of my childhood. I didn't play these ones when I was younger, so I'm playing them now. It's really weird to think about, and it's like after I finish Ratchet 3, you know, there won't be anything more to experience for me personally. I mean, I guess it'll be Ratchet Gladiator or whatever it's called, Deadlocked. And there are also ways like, you know, Size Matters, but they're definitely spin-offs and I wouldn't consider them as main canonly exciting. And I mean, it's like, I'll definitely do those games if there's enough requests for them. But I don't know, they don't excite me as much as, you know, thinking about doing Ratchet 2 or 3 or the upcoming reboot of Ratchet 1 would be, you know, it's not, not as exciting just because it's not a main Ratchet game. It's exciting because it's probably a good game, but not exciting in the same ways, if that makes sense. I, I'm Zebra, I get excited over everything, so. <laughs> Anyways, let's hop up here. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, take these guys out. Oh, okay, so far so good. And I gotta go in here and do that little puzzle. These guys are trying to come at me. Can I use a spider bot on them? Let's give this a shot here. Um. I don't think it's gonna work, but it's worth it. Yep, it doesn't work. All right, then, alley-oop. <laughs> just make him jump on off. I'm sorry, guy. All right, then we need uh, that. Can I, do I even need it, or can I just walk up? Yes, I can. I just use the infiltrator. There we go, and let's solve this puzzle. There we go. Not too much strife. I'm getting pretty used to these. They're not as hard. But no, no, no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh. Oh boy. Uh. Synthenoids. And then lava gun. Let's get those strats going on here. Ooh, ooh. Go home. Go home. Get out of my face. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> Don't mess with that ratchet. Hey, he's hiding behind the corner and everything. What a cheap shot. Oh man, but our maximum nanotech will upgrade and that'll give me a full health boost. Wow, okay. That, I mean, it's really helpful that we're getting the nanotech upgrades this often at this point because it's really giving us those health refills that we truly need in the best situations. We were about to die there. Pretty cool stuff. That's our third upgrade in this level. You can tell, like, are we under leveled? Are we not as strong as we're supposed to be at this point in the game? And is that why we're leveling up so much? And maybe why we're struggling here and there? Interesting. I don't, I'm not really sure, but whoa, we're being shot at. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. You don't like me. I don't like you. Let's do get out. <laughs> All right, we're almost out of the lava gun now, so I need to be explicitly careful. How about we try, um, synthenoids again? And at this point, I think that there's not too many weapons that we need to charge up. Yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, I just have to use some weapons I already have an upgrade on, such as, you know, like the HK-22, the uh, Auto Seeker. Oh, no, 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 oh man, I almost jumped off, that would've been horrible. And then this guy, where are you, big dude? He looks like he could be a good robot football player with those big old shoulders. Nice, we take him out as well. Okay, then, let's see what's over here. Okay. Let's go, and we have nearly 60,000 bolts. At this pace, we should be able to hit that 150,000 sooner than I thought, but at the same time, like I said, that's once again just the tip of the iceberg here with this game. Take all these guys out, and look at this, we're almost like a third of the way through with our nanotech. I, I, we have to be reaching the full health soon. I would only think, like, how small can it get? <laughs> the little dots for our health are getting so small of a resolution that it's just like a pixel blob at this point, so. All right, then what's up here? I feel like we're going in circles, but there's definitely new spots. So, hey, you guys, how you doing? Get on out of here, how about you? <laughs> there you go. I mean, it's like, I feel like if we're going to be using weapons that we um, need, like, or we don't need to level up at the moment, we might as well pull out this guy. <laughs> Good times, remember this shotgun? I do. It makes me happy to remember, too. Okay, um, oh my, what is this? Something, oh, what is it, what is it? Ooh, it's shiny. Hooray! We got something! You found a hypnomatic part. You need all of the parts to make the hypnomatic gadget. Huh. Now, I do not recall what the hypnomatic gadget is, if we've yet to learn what that is. 
Oh man, I can't remember, because there's a lot of little names in this game, and in the series in general, that are hard to remember, for, hard for me to remember, just because they're so specific and situational, I guess. And they're just usually big names. <laughs> Zebo don't like big names. He too stoop for that. But I don't know, it's just, it's pretty weird. Um, I just don't know what that's for, but hopefully we'll find out soon if we find the parts for it. Hopefully it's not a big scavenge fest. We don't have to go to like hidden areas where we've already been. Well, let's go on this platform. Is this platform gonna teleport me somewhere? Activate! Where are we going? Somewhere cool, maybe. Oh no, no! Hey, you, you, you! What have you done? You have, uh, you set me up, buddy. You set me up. Okay, it's working this time. Now that's just not messing me up like that, and just throwing me off for no reason. So that's that one direction done. So I guess in the next episode we'll go off and try the other direction. I have to thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and if you enjoyed, make sure to give it a like and share it with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. What do you think about some of the crazy stuff and the crazy, horrible, disgusting crabs we ran into? And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.